Working in a city-based IT company for years, somehow you feel that you're missing something. Restless minds throughout daily routine, which merge into the image of the city lights. When your views are limited within the suburbs of your city, somehow you want to see further and go deeper. You can't work forever. You have to take a break. Every human being wants to go into something new, something special and unforgettable. And that's the time when you understand there is so much to discover far from this rocky city. With the vision of discovering Armenia's unknown beauty, we launched our journey, which leads us to the deepest and wildest places of our country. Our success height is not eternally, but there is something in our life which height is forever. Mountains, their white dazzling peaks in front of the deep and blue sky. Don't they have a symbol of human dreams whose call disturbs the restless souls for centuries? And does every one of us reach its heights? People of mountains, who are they? Why do they prefer to live in a tent against the harsh and forbidding mountains rather than a stable and measured life in rocky jungle cities? Why do they risk their life and fight with mountains and their fears? Not everyone can understand why or not. You forget about everything in the mountains. Your target is clear. Your mind is cleaned of unnecessary fuss. You feel yourself for strength. Who has been in the mountains will understand. The mountains will always be there. The trick is to make sure you are too. However, you cannot stay on the summit forever. You have to come down again. Armenia is beautiful for the ones who want to see it. We all depend on the forests and we should aim to protect them. Forests are the lungs of our country, while rivers are the veins. They keep the entire balance between nature and humans. They have their own gossip, their own sound, their own rustling whispers and smells. They inhale the hype of our industrial activity and exhale fresh life into our urbanized reality. Forests and lakes help us keep the balance between nature and city. Most people from cities have no idea how they look. The only way to tell them is to show them. Get rid of the busy, never-ending cities and rediscover a new world. A world where you'll explore the other human inside of you. The culture of our ancestors has a long way to go. Our ancestors started with stone art, portraying their connectivity with nature. Now, we focus on portraying our connectivity with technology. In the past, we used nature to progress the science. 
We built monuments and churches, and some are located in the wildest regions in our country. While seeing these monuments, you rediscover our strong connection with nature. We have a huge heritage from our ancestors, which country preserved us for ages. Today, we're not used to living in the mountains and in the wild. We move to more comfortable places where we have all the things we need. However, we should not forget to rediscover the true beauty we have behind our rocky cities. We live in the single most progressive time in the history of the planet. New innovations are announced every day. New technology is expanding further and we're getting even more connected with our cities. Today, our life is more digital. Our friends are virtual. Distance between information is as far as a computer mouse. Finally getting back to downtown after a long journey through the deepest regions of our country, we realized the true beauty behind the cities. In order to help visitors discover our country, we launched a video brief based on our road experience, which is a travel guide through the country based on a 5,000 kilometer road trip we did over one year. Adventure is worthwhile.